begin to receive his promises in your life. Now, I know some of you are new to this, and you're just learning his promises. Listen, stay with us. Stay in church. Go to classes. Learn. You're going you're gonna to find out all these wonderful promises that God has promised you. And when you begin to hear them, some of them are like, so that you're like, oh, wow, I don't even know if I can believe that because that's so outside of where I am now. But don't kick it away. Don't go, how in the world is this going? You might read where God will give you his peace and you've never been peaceful. You realize, how is that going to happen? You might read where, where God can absolutely forgive you and cleanse you and you can stand before him spotless. And he's thinking, I don't know how that's going to happen. He knows my past is so awful. You might have just grown up in just generation after generation of poverty and you read where God can bless you. And instead of going, I don't believe how this could happen, I just make one small adjustment. Lord, I don't know how it's going to happen, but let it be to me according to your word. Your word elevates over my experience, over my feelings. Let it be to me, Lord, according to your word. See, the Bible, the Bible gives us so many wonderful promises, but it doesn't, they doesn't say, hey, these promises happen and then we rejoice. We take a step of believing to come to a place of knowing. You make that believing connection first.